with any great leader comes those who critique. For Julius Caesar, these critics fortified and ended his reign. Learning from this, Caesar Augustus ensured those around him were of trust and confidence. For this reason, it took a few generations for a substantial critic to protest the line of Caesar. This critic began his text with a falsehood of without anger and without partiality, from the motives of which I stand sufficiently removed, as though to claim his words without opinion or persuasion. He very quickly begins to recite rumors and gossip he allegedly heard on the streets and among the citizens. These rumors, of course, speak ill not only of the great Emperor Augustus, but also of his family. For how low a man but demean his fellow man, not through direct discourse or conversation, but through misguided publishing. Further, a man knows no greater duty than to his family. It is true Caesar Augustus was not perfect, his illness notwithstanding. But he did care for his family and for his heirs, just as he cared for the people of Rome. This bold critic is Tacitus. In his text Annalis, Tacitus uses what would be known as rhetoric to direct and divert your attention. His aim is not to teach or inform, but rather spread evil of the name of Caesar and the name of Augustus. Be wary of the tactics used. Bear in mind the words spewed on the page may not be as honest as the author would like you to believe. Notice that the great achievements of Augustus are stated as minor fact, as though to be dismissed, while the minor and private matters of his family and trusted leaders is written page over page as though to undervalue what the Roman Empire has become. Have faith in those in the Senate and those appointed by Augustus, and in his heirs. Because it is true, no one man can rule alone with nothing but willing servants under him. Caesar Augustus did not have servants, but advisors and leaders. This is not to disrupt his rule, but rather ensure he maintains the vision for Rome and the Roman prosperity. Fear not the man hidden behind a page, but take pride in the man leading your fair nation, your great empire, Caesar Augustus.